uplifting lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. And here's your host. Miss Kim Robinson.
gets me every time. Oh my God, this is one of those songs that I'd have to, I'd have to be used to. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And thank you for tuning in to Let's Talk Talk Show right here on Elations Radio. I am your host, Chanel Lynn, and this special thanks goes to the lovely Miss Kimmy Kim and Jerry Royce at Positive Power 21.org for our topic on do not. We'll be discussing the very beginning of our series on God's grace versus God's law. Could your salvation be at stake and you not know it? The reason why this topic um, is very serious to me um, is because a lot of people have been um, taught, a lot of people, a lot of pastors, a lot of um, leaders in the churches have been um, teaching that, you know, you can live how you want to live. As one particular pastor said um, on social media, you know, smoke if you want to, drink if you want to, have sex outside of marriage if you want to. God still loves you because you are no longer under the law. You are under grace. My goodness. And so the question is, could your, could your salvation possibly be at stake? Without further delay, I'd like to introduce to you a very special guest. Um, joining us on our series. Um, He goes by the name of Justin, um, humbly. He is a very brilliant man. He is well endowed with um, wisdom. He is heavy in studies um, of the Bible and other books. He knows history, dated uh, events dated back B.C. time, A.D. times. Um, So without further delay, um, let's welcome very brilliant Mr. Justin. How are you tonight, sir? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. How are you today? I am doing very good. I'm so glad that you were able to join us on tonight. Um, I'm very excited about this, you know, as we briefly talk, um, you know, like I said, you're a very uh, brilliant, brilliant um, man. And so just very interested um, in what you have to share with us on tonight. Now, you know, concerning the 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 discussion and what I said in the intro um, as far as, you know, God's law versus God's grace and how um, it's been said and it's been taught and it's, it's believed amongst a lot of people um, that God's uh, grace, you know, um, kind of puts us in a place where we do not have to follow God's law. And so, you know, with that being said, you know, for myself, what I've observed um, with people um, in general who believe this way, um, do a lot of treating people however they want to treat them and, you know, um, just living how they want to live. And, you know, they'll throw grace. They'll throw grace out there, you know, (laughs) I'm under God's grace. Don't judge me, you know, Uh, or they'll say, I'm sorry, you know. But continue to do the same thing. What are your thoughts? Well, me myself is that um, being an avid reader of the Bible, uh, and uh, one of the books that I I stand the most is the Torah. And mm-hmm. without the without the the following of the law, there is no grace. I mean, there's no rehabilitation to the spirit or the soul, the mind, or even or even the the psychology of the human being because the the human being is naturally a carnalistic being, and <clears throat> by the human being being a naturally a natural carnalistic being, this is how we was created. We were only created to worship them, mm-hmm. and in order to do that, we have to have laws, ordinances, and stipulations in order to do that. Because everything in the earth has a law to go by. The moon mm-hmm. has a course. The moon has its course that keeps the that keeps the tides from overflowing over the land. The the sun has its course uh to keep dry areas dry and uh green areas mm-hmm. green. The mm-hmm. stars have its course, the night and the day has its course. And they and none mm-hmm. of them break these laws. None of these break, none of them break these ordinances. They they submit to these ordinances, and they and they and they obey them mm-hmm. every single day. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the things that always gets me is that, you know, um, 
Jesus said that he did not come to destroy the Torah. He said he didn't come mm-hmm. to destroy the Torah. I mean, it's translated in uh, the gospel, so I think it's Mark, uh, that the law. But in the mm-hmm. Hebrew, uh, the Hebrew word for law is either doubt or it's, or it's Torah. Mm-hmm. So if you look at that verse as him saying, I did not come to destroy the law, you could also look at that verse saying, I didn't I did not come to destroy the Torah mm-hmm. or the prophet. Not mm-hmm. one tit or tittle, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. um with him saying that that the law still stands. Mm-hmm. And without the law, there is no there is no grace. There's no there is no accomplishment. I mean ac- accomplishment. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because for the simple fact there is you, you did you did nothing. Uh, you did nothing according to uh, the command of El to receive uh, a ble- uh, to receive uh, the greatest gift, and that is the hereafter, or that is heaven. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, um, uh, one of the things, another verse that. It, that 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 um comes to mind also is when Jesus says, uh, "Hear ye, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one God. Love Him with all thy mind, thy body, thy thy heart, and thy soul." And this is the best commandment. Mm-hmm. He's also talking about the commandment of six four Deuteronomy six four. This is the same exact verse that he quoted in. Uh, Mark also So it's mm-hmm. the same exact verse that he quoted He quoted the Torah at that time mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Love thy God with all thy mind Thy body, thy heart, and thy soul This is the best commandment The only way that you can love Is, uh, is Love Ill, is with knowledge of him How can you love him and not understand His divine right. command Or what he uh, Expects of you Right, right. Because even Christ mm-hmm. said, you know, even Jesus said, uh, or Yeshua <laughs> in Hebrew, um, even he said, you know, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Uh, mm-hmm. I shared something, too, on last week about um, the law, about um, the scripture that says, you know, if we if we sin, um after knowing the truth, um, that that there remains no more forgiveness for sin. Um, and not only that, but, you know, we have an expectation to, uh, you know, fiery <laughs> um, judgment, basically. Exactly. Um, exactly. But... Exactly. <laughs> but here's the argument that some people that some people have, you know, they say, well, you know, the Bible talks about how we're no longer under grace. I mean, we're no we're no longer under the law, but we are now under grace because, you know, Christ, you know, <laughs> nailed um all of our sins, you know, to the cross. And so, you know, I can do what I want, but all I have to do is just ask ask God for forgiveness, um, and and I'm forgiven. You know, I, I'm still God still keeps me. I'm still here. Um, what do you have to say about mm. that? Well, the thing is, is that none of the prophets rejected the law. Uh, Yahshua truly didn't reject the law because the sixty five uh, references to the to the Torah in John, he mm-hmm. he references the Torah sixty five times in John. Mm-hmm. No, in Matthew, I'm sorry, in Matthew. So mm-hmm. the thing is, is that he he was not a rejecter of the law. So you have right. to, you have to you have to wonder where this ideal actually came because ideology is something is something different. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's, anybody can have an idea about a truth. You know what I'm saying? If you if you 
take out a book, uh, take out a glass of water and you ask a person or you ask a group of people, we pick out some things about this glass of water and they'll pick out everything that they want. It's wet, it nourishes you, it you can bathe with it, you know what I'm saying, it's clear and so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. But the ultimate truth and these are all the all their ideas of what it is. But the ultimate uh-huh. truth the ultimate or the ultimate truth behind this glass, I mean, behind that question is, is it's a glass of water. So you can have all of these ideas that come from a, 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 a large truth, but the truth is the truth. And none of the mm-hmm. prophets that I that have read from Genesis and even into John or Matthew mm-hmm. and John uh, uh, with the stories of uh, Yahshua never did mm-hmm. he reject the law. So right. with that being with that being said, there's you still have ordinances and commandments that you have to that you have to live by. Even Ezekiel has a whole Ezekiel eighteen uh, five thirty two has a whole checklist on salvation. You know of what mm-hmm. a person the the criteria of following the law because you know you have mm-hmm. a lot of people think well you know. Well, well, if you have to follow the law, you got over like three, three hundred commandments, and so on and so forth. And but they don't understand that 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 you have, you have major commandments and you have minor commandments. And these the major commandments is are very very few. The minor commandments is like you know saying keeping the 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 holidays and so on and so forth, and making the incense offerings, and and, and mm-hmm. here and uh, here. here uh, yeah, and, and and all of that. But the thing is, is that the major, the major parts of the law that is supposed to be kept is like, you know, uh, mm-hmm. you know, not wronging anyone, not to murder. You know, what I'm saying not to, uh, pointing your eyes towards idols. You know, uh, mm-hmm. uh, honestly being living honestly or judges honest, honestly between one person and another. You know, what I'm saying refrain from what is evil. You know, not taking interest in loans, and so on and so forth. This is like the checklist of the of of the commands that Israel was given. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and even through Israel is the salvation of the whole humanity. Because I would have to reference Genesis ten or Genesis twelve when Abraham was told by El that he was going to be blessed, and the whole world was going to be blessed through him and his descendants. So mm-hmm. as long as the world follows him and his descendants, the whole world was going to be blessed. So he said, I'm going to bless those who bless you, and I'm going to curse those who curse you. Mm-hmm. It even mm-hmm. brings me to, it even brings me to, uh, uh, it even makes me remember where uh, Yahshua was talking to the Edomite Pharisees, and they were talking about where well, aren't we of Abraham, and so on and so forth, and uh, he was he was telling them, you know, what I'm saying, oh, you're of, you're of your. If you was of Abraham, then you would be doing his works. So this mm. is even goes goes all the way back to the covenant, you know, what I'm saying, uh, all the way back to the promises that he made with each and every prophet, prophet from the Adamic covenant to the to the uh, Shemite, co- I mean, to the Noah uh, 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 to the Noah Noah's covenant and the Mosaic and so on and so forth. You know, what I mean, even in these. <laughs> Promises, you know, what I'm saying there were different, there was specific and major points that humanity should follow in order for, for humanity to live peacefully amongst each other, and 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 live in solitude right. and worship in that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I um have a question. Um. So, what if um what if someone broke one part of the law? Then what, according to, you know, scripture, what would, you know, and I mean, not not, uh, not as a lifestyle, you know, not the person who lives mm-hmm. a lifestyle of, you know, breaking uh, God's law, but the person that, you know, uh, Cause we're not perfect, you know. I know no, I'm certainly perfect. know I'm not perfect. <laughs> I Nobody know I'm is. not, you know, right? Nobody so is. is you know, am the person who 
who breaks a part of the law is that person, you know, considered, you know, is that person facing judgment? Well, the thing is, is this, okay. The, you have an unforgivable law, which is blasphemy. It's unforgivable. Mm-hmm. If you die up on right. that, if you die up on that, then yes. I don't, I don't think, you know, I mean, according to the scriptures, uh, if you die up on blasphemy, you are cut off from the nation. Meaning if you cut off from the yeah. nation, then you're you cut off from the blessing that it gets in the hereafter. So mm-hmm. the thing is, is that, but if you turn turn away from that and you make and you repent for that, El says, mm-hmm. uh, I'm gonna go to uh, eighteen okay. five Ezekiel eighteen five. Okay. He says, consider someone who is righteous, who does what is lawful and right. He doesn't eat. On the mountains, or raise his eyes towards idols of the house of Israel. He doesn't mm-hmm. defile his neighbor's wife or touch a woman during the time of her menstrual impurity. He doesn't wrong anyone. He returns any pledged property uh, mm. a debtor has given as collateral for a loan. He takes nothing by robbery, but gives his food to the hungry and the cl- and and clothing to those who need it. He neither demands nor accepts interest on a loan. He refrains from what is evil, and he judges honestly between one person and another. In short, he lives according to my law. He says, in short, he lives according to my law and observes mm-hmm. my ruling. So as to act faithfully, such a person is righteous, and he will certainly live forever. This is what Elohim says. Mm. So the thing is, is that he wow. don't he don't re, he don't require you to do all three hundred commands. Mm. And this is an ideology that a lot of people push because, for the simple fact, you the Torah brings rehabilitation to the soul, the mind, and the spirit. Mm. In order for you to stop, in order for us to stop the things that happen in our community, we must first make people responsible for the actions that they do. You can't mm-hmm. say that we're all up on a grace and whatever we do, whatever we do, we don't have to, we don't have to really pay attention to it because for the simple fact, either way it goes, we're going to get heaven in the end. That, in a way, that is, that is. In a way, that's blasphemous because yeah, you, I'm thinking because, the same thing. Yeah, because you would say that would be like saying that Satan deserves heaven too, right? Because oh, Satan wow. is an adversary to everything that El says. He is an adversary to thou shalt not kill. He he says no, go ahead and kill, man. You're gonna be all right. Thou shalt not steal, man. Go ahead, man. Take it's only five dollars. It's only five dollars. Sell it for you. You feel me? And and and. And there's no rehabilitation to the carnal action because man is carnalistic by nature. He is in self-surviving mode. He's going to do whatever it takes to survive. But he right. needs those, yeah. those stipulations in order to be righteous and holy. And this is where law mm. comes So with, without law, there is no grace because not only does hell does not have any grace for you, but you won't have any grace or mercy for no one else. Without law, mm. it's total chaos. If if, if we true. wanted to really put common sense on the table, you know what I'm saying, it would be total mm-hmm. chaos worldwide without law. If everybody said, okay, do away with all law today. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, and you know what, though, like in a sense, it kind of is like that now. I mean, you know, it things is. are just spiraling out of control more and more. It just seems like the more the years progress, the more lawlessness progresses. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and the majority of people are believers in being under grace and not under mm-hmm. God's law. law. Exactly. That's all I see. Mm-hmm. Like, this is the fruit of, you know... <laughs> This is mm-hmm. the fruit of 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 believing in just just grace alone and not and not God's law. And it just reminds me of I keep oh my gosh, it's just it just keeps popping up in my mind 
where 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 Jesus or Yeshua said, oh, and I shared this last week also that you know, and he was telling his he he was telling his disciples he was like, you know, not everybody who says to me Lord Lord will enter into the kingdom of heaven. I think people are missing this. This is I think mm-hmm. this is why Elohim, as you say, you know, um, or El. I think this is why he's placing this on my heart to share this scripture because so many people don't see the seriousness, um, how, you know, basically how L looks at his, his law, how he expects for us to follow his, you know, follow his law. When, when Yeshua or Jesus said, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my father. And he said, for many mm-hmm. will say to me, well, Lord, Lord, did we not cast out devils in your name? Did we not? This is mm-hmm. what people today think that this is what God's will is. Did we not? Did we not <laughs> preach in your? Did mm-hmm. we not prophesy in your name? And, 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 and yet Jesus said, and yet I will say to them, depart from me. I never knew you, you workers of lawlessness. And so it's mm-hmm. just crazy. It, oh. People mm-hmm. really think that someone who performs these miracles is 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 you know in the wheel or you know being used mm-hmm. by Elohim, you know, mm-hmm. or by God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But they see, don't understand. Uh huh. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. The 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 thing is, is that okay when Moses. Right, was leading the children of Israel from Pharaoh, and Pharaoh called in his priests, and they threw down their staffs, and both of their staffs turned into snakes. Where did they get that from? Where at that time, where did they get the allowance for both of those staffs to turn into snakes? Mm. And then when Moses threw his staff, it turned into a snake, right? And then mm-hmm. his but his staff ate the two snakes. Mm-hmm. Elohim has mm-hmm. Elohim has allowed certain powers to be to allow people to think what they're doing is correct when it's really wrong. Because you oh, see God. that those two staffs still had power. They still changed form. They went from wood to a living snake. Mm. All by his will. But still, mm. it will allow you to understand how fragile and delicate free will is. Mm. Because he don't he's not he's not compulsive. L is not compulsive. He's not gonna he's not gonna make you do what he wants you to do. But he'll mm. allow you to be in that illusion if he if you like to be. Mm. If you like to be. If, if you, you like wanna to be. be. Mm. Right. If you wanna be, he's not gonna force you out of that illusion. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But in the end, you're gonna understand that it was your desires that gave power to that illusion mm. and not his command. I mean, and not oh. his, not his worship. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So or not so. Um, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So or or not your obedience to him. You know what I'm saying? It was right. It was your it was your desires that gave you power to, uh, that that gave that po- that illusion power. You know, so a person mm-hmm. can think what they want to think. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I can I can think that the the the, the sky is you know, magenta. You know what I'm saying? If I want to, when it's really blue, you know. And mm. if I tell my, if I tell myself self this over and over and over again, I'm going to believe it, and I'm going to have kind of cognitive dissonance towards anyone that tries to change my focus on that. But that doesn't make it true. Mm. That doesn't that doesn't make it true. Like, right. And Jeremiah says that none of the prophets, none of the prophets rebuked the law. None of the prophets, the men of wisdom, or the priests rebuked the law. Mm. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. There's so, a, um, a, a, 
Go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, 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 well, it, it, a scripture popped up um, in my mind when you were talking about um, uh, people, you know, who want to believe things that are false. You know, the mm-hmm. um, scripture um, that talks about, well, for two scriptures. One Um, I can't think of the actual location of the scripture, but um, maybe you or maybe the listeners would would know, or maybe Kimmy Kim, I don't know. Somebody would know what the scripture is, Uh, where uh, where it says that people will no longer endure sound doctrine, but will find for themselves uh, people who would preach things that would, you know, things that would, you know, appease their itching ears or something like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Huh? Mhm. So, and then the other scripture um that popped up in my mind was 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 um Nope, wait a minute. Nope. No, 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 no. That's not the one. That's not the one. Nope. 2 Chronicles um chapter 18 um and 21. And it says, well, maybe I should go to 20. Um, It says, finally, a spirit came for, nope, um, let's go to 19. (laughs) Uh, Second second Chronicles 18 and 19. It says, and the Lord said, who will entice Ahab? Talking about King Ahab. And and, and as I talk about this scripture, the, the listeners who do not know who Ahab is, Ahab was Jezebel's husband back first kings first or second kings um very evil king of israel okay so second chronicles 18 and 19 it says and the lord said who will entice ahab king of israel into attacking uh ramos i'm probably saying this wrong gilead and going to his death there one suggested this and another that and then it says verse 20 finally a spirit came forward stood before the lord and said I will entice him by what means, the Lord asked. Verse 21, he said, this lying spirit said, I will go and be a deceiving spirit in the mouths of all his prophets. He said, Mm -hmm. you will succeed in enticing him, said the Lord. He said, go Mm -hmm. and do it. Go and do it. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus. Right, exactly. Oh, exactly. Because Ahab wanted to be deceived. That was his character. That was that was his 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 personality in his heart. And so mm-hmm. here a conversation was going on in heaven. Mhm. Mhm. <laughs> I believe mm-hmm. the same thing goes on nowadays. Everybody who wants to be evil, who wants to live how they want to live, and they don't want to hear the truth. God will allow a deceiving spirit to come and deceive them even far. Oh, Lord. Go ahead. Go ahead, yeah. uh, Justin. Go ahead, Justin. <laughs> what you <gonna> say? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, because for the, this is, it's, it's, part of, it's a part of a test. You know what I'm saying? You can't have a test without, you can't have a test without failing questions. Mm. You can't have a test without mm. failing questions. Mm. You can't have a test without passing questions. You can't have a mm. test without a book. You can't have a test without a book. You know what I mean? You, wow. can, go, you can try. To, yeah. You can try to go and take that test. I don't know how far you're gonna get. You know what I mean? <laughs> By passing the test without the book. Mm. Some people are, you know, smart enough to do it. You know, if they if if mm. they studied that if they studied that subject for a very 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 long time, but still they still needed a book from somewhere. You know right. what I mean? So the thing is, is that. That's the reason why I'm saying there is no grace without there's no grace without law. Um, mm-hmm. Even even um, in keeping the commandments. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let me see. I'm gonna see uh, mm-hmm. the grace. Uh, and then also while you're go ahead. Are you ready? Uh, go ahead. Well, just while you're, you know, um, finding uh, what you're looking for, I just wanted to say that, you know, that scripture 
<laughs> in First Chronicles about, you know, God allowing a spirit of deception to come and deceive Ahab even more. To, to Not only that, though, but to send a lying spirit in the mouths of his of Ahab's prophets. These are lying, lying prophets that he already selected. They were already liars. But a whole, a whole nother deceiving spirit, mm-hmm. God allowed to come, in, you know, and influence or, you know, yeah, to influence Ahab's so-called prophets and to lie and, to, you know, to lie to him even mm-hmm. more so that he can have layer upon layer upon layer of being deceived. And being deceived. it kind of. Well, you know, it just kind of shows you the character of Elohim, mm-hmm. and and mm-hmm. you know, it's kind it is it, it's contradictory to what people have said Elohim's character real you know really is that you know mm-hmm. he's all loving, all forgiving, ever merciful. Mm-hmm. Which I believe he is, but I believe that it's on a condition. Mm-hmm. Hello. I'm just saying. Uh huh. Mhm. I'm just saying. I think that the condition is for the ones whose heart really wants to obey Elohim. The ones who 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 want to be deceived. The ones who back away from El's truth, you know, the ones who um the ones who wanna live the way they wanna live, however they wanna live. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. Elohim, especially in these last days, oh my God. Especially in these last days, I hate to say it. I really hate to say it. But according mm-hmm. to what the Bible says of how, you know, Elohim is or how God is, he will allow for a deceiving spirit. He will allow for lying prophets to come and lie in your itching ears to tell you everything that you want to hear. Yeah, go mm-hmm. ahead, smoke your marijuana. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and drink. Go ahead and have sex mm-hmm. outside of marriage. Go ahead, do what you want to do. God still loves you. You're all automatically forgiven. Yeah, go ahead, you know. Or just say, God, forgive me, and go ahead, keep on doing what you're doing. You're on your way to heaven. Mm-hmm. That's scary. It is, it's very scary. It's very scary, especially especially when you especially when you have the scriptures that 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 will that that will tell you, you know, what I'm saying that, you know, that Elohim, he is he is merciful to those that follow law. He's grace he's graceful to those that want to be upright. He is, you know, what I'm saying he is merciful. To those that make ignorant mistakes, not mm. malicious mistakes. Mm. You, know, you have ignorant yeah. mistakes because you don't know, and then you have malicious mistakes because you know, but you're just gonna make them anyway. Oh, you know what I mean? Right. So, yeah. You know what I mean? So the thing is, is that having a mindset, is, I gotta forgive me. Gotta forgive me. That's the mindset. Right. I gotta forgive me. And everything. Me. Everything is an intention. Now, now think about it. Elohim and this spirit is having a conversation about him, right? Yeah. And and about Ahab. This, yeah. Yeah. About Ahab, and this this hasn't. Ha- I mean, this is not the first time that this happened because Job. They had the same thing about that same con- Elohim had the same uh, conversation with Satan about Job. Mm. He said, mm. "He said, take your heads down away from him, and I bet you he'll curse you to your face." Oh wow! And so Elohim took the hedge down. Not, not, not mm. think about this. Mm. They were talking about this before it happened. So everything is already predestined. So how mm. can you, how can you trick Elohim on mm. what you meant when he's already wrote the path for you? If mm. you commit sins and you go out the wrong way, or if you or if you ask for for forgiveness and and sincerely and sincere uprightness and go out the right way, he made both of those paths. Mm. So you can't mm-hmm. you can't trick him because he's already written your whole destiny. This is predestination. He has 
already wrote in your whole destiny for you. Mm. Free will is just a vehicle of going left mm. and right or or out of a trillion pathways picking that one that is the best. Mm. Because you have like a trillion pathways, you know what I'm saying? You have a trillion pathways of the things that you can do. Free will is just it's, it's that glorious. You know what I mean? That you don't, it's yeah. just not one, two things that you can possibly do. You can sit down and you can think of a million things that you can do. And, they, and each one of these each one of these things are pathways, believe it or not, because they all are going to have some cause and effect. You're going to go out there, you're going to do what you want to do, but it's always going to have an effect in whatever that comes up next that comes along that path. Mm, that's true. So this has already been written. This has already mm-hmm. been written. So there's no way in the world that we can actually even say, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like even on that day, you know, uh, I hear, you know, sometimes people say, you know, I'll, I'll say this and I'll say that. But you, there's nothing that you're going to have to say because everything is already written. And he already knows he's closer to you to get in your jugg- juggler vein. So he already knows what you're going to do, what you're going to do, and how you're going to do it, and why you're going to do it because he wrote it. Mm, mm, mm. But you mm, have a mm, mind mm. and you have a heart. And if your mind connects with your heart to love Elohim, you're going to choose what is right for you so you can please your creator. Now, you know, David in the Bible, and this is something that um, a lot of people bring up as well, how David, you know, did a lot of uh, wrong according to Mm -hmm. what, (laughs) according to what was written um, in scripture. And, you know, they're like, hey, listen, David David had a woman's husband murdered in battle so that he can take his this man's wife and he slept with Bathsheba. And, you know, um, he did a lot of horrible stuff, you know. Um, mm. And there was even uh, a part in, 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 in the Bible where uh, I think he, I think, oh, God. Who was it? I think it was Bathsheba. It was somebody who one of them got pregnant or something like that. Somebody he was he was with. Either they mm-hmm. got pregnant and had the baby and the baby died, or she was pregnant and the baby was born, still born, or something like that. It, either way, David prayed. He repented and everything, and he prayed. And he asked God, um, or Elohim, um, he asked, you know, he begged for forgiveness and asked that the baby would live, but the baby had died. And he, you know, and even after the child or the baby died, um, you know, he, he accepted it. He understood, you know, he didn't get upset with the Lord or anything like that. Um, but people say that, well, you know, God doesn't see the sin <laughs> that God mm-hmm. only, you know, the, the, and they use David as an example all the time. You understand? Like people mm-hmm. say that he done all he done all of this, all this stuff, um, but a lot of people they they they're like, well, he had a repentant heart, and yet you know, so he did all this stuff, but God still considered him a man after His own heart. Mm-hmm. So it's like, <laughs> mm-hmm. well, I don't know. What do you mm-hmm. have to say about that? Well, the the thing is, is that like I said, in, in Jeremiah eighteen eighteen it says, you know what I'm saying, that uh the Torah won't be lost from the priests, the counsel of the wise, or the words of the prophets. So mm-hmm. when you when you read the verse like that, then there's some things that you have to use common I think a person would have to use common sense for themselves when it comes yeah. down to the character of the prophets. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because they mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's talked about that Lot had Sex with his daughter, you know, and it's talked about that Noah was a drunkard, mm. and mm-hmm. so on and so forth. All of these things, you know, what I'm saying, I don't, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I don't support well, that because my, my love for right. the prophets is way bigger than you know. What I'm saying, then if 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 it's contradictory, it's con- contradictory to what El says about them. Mm-hmm. Then I, I can't I can't support that I can't support that at okay. all. Okay, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. I mean I understand because you know, <laughs> um, according to according to you know history and um 
you're talking about who wrote the Bible and all of that, mm-hmm. you know, all these discussions, you know, um, you know, are had amongst people, you know, I mean, even, oh my God, especially now, it's, you know, on social media, like on Facebook, you know, people mm-hmm. are posting things about, you know, just different things and people are having like discussions all the time now, you know, I think everyone is getting the, the, um, uh, the notion or the hunch or whatever that, you know, things are really coming to an end now. Just seeing how, you know, like I was saying earlier, how the world is just, you know, is just growing more and more lawless, more and more wicked, more and more evil, uh, things that normally would not, should not be permissible, especially according to, you know, um, God's law are now permissible. You know, we're living in the times where, you know, wrong is considered right, right is considered wrong, <laughs> if you're an honest person, people will not trust you. And then if you're a dishonest person, you know, people cling to you. <laughs> just, mm-hmm. Just, mm-hmm. Things are like way out of whack now, you know. And so just looking at how, you know, everybody is, is talking about how the Bible, you know, had when it was translated, you know, from from Hebrew to Greek, you know, and then translated to English for us that, you know, a lot of stuff was taken out <laughs> of, of the Bible. And actually, in, act, in actuality, talking about like the Catholic Church and then the Christian Church that they say that, that well, not they say, but it is, Christ, the Christian Church is uh, in in affiliation with the Catholic Church. Christ, Christ, the Christian Church came from the Catholic Church um, and mm-hmm. the Christian Church took out some of the books out of the Bible um, and only kept some. And, you know, <laughs> mm-hmm. my, in my mind, and this is what is taught in theology, you know, school. This is what is taught, you know, in, in Bible mm-hmm. college, <laughs> you mm-hmm. know. But what they teach is that those books were taken out because they were, quote, unquote, not proven to be authentic. So mm. needless to say, without even going into depth about all of that, but of course the Bible itself has been tampered with. If you're taking if you're taking books out of the Bible, regardless of your reason why, it's been tampered with. You know. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. like you I just totally agree, like you really do have to go with what God said. Oh, my mm-hmm. goodness, and it just makes me, it just, you know, it makes me, um, it makes me, you know, just believe more and more why it's so important to seek um, truth, to read, and to study, and to, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> and question to seek everything. Knowledge. Right, and seek yeah, knowledge. You to have, seek knowledge. You have to seek, you know, salvation is not with, with ignorance, it's with knowledge. You know, and so you have to see yeah. you have to be able to know what you're doing in order to continue what you're doing. If you yeah. if you don't if you don't know what you're doing and you're ignorant of what you're doing, then how will you learn from anything? You well, and then how also, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm rude. I'm so sorry. But <laughs> like, you it just I know I'm so ah. But like God said or Elohim said, you know, my people perish from a lack of knowledge. That's all I wanted to say. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, so the 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 thing is, is that you know, um, um, you know, in in in, in Jeremiah, it's it, uh, again Jeremiah. I think it's Jeremiah four ten, if I'm not mistaken, um, mm-hmm. where it talks about um, the Elohim deceives the wicked. Um, that he mm-hmm. he he that he will he will allow people to, to believe what they want to believe if that's what they want to believe if that's what they want to do. But the thing mm-hmm. is, is that one of the things that I really actually want to say is that you have to learn the you have to you have to learn the language of the book. Like the Hebrew is really good for a person to to even. Uh, to even try to take up. I mean, even if mm-hmm. they can't take up the Hebrew language altogether, get you something that can interpret interpret 
Hebrew and so on and so forth because there's a lot of different versions of Bibles out there. And there's two main ones. There's one that's Ethiopic and there's another one that is for the English. Mm-hmm. And of mm-hmm. course the ones for the English is going to be culturally, culturally, uh, uh, mm-hmm. culturally lent towards the English. So whatever that was, that, that was culture, culturally cor- correct for them, they are going mm-hmm. to allow it to be in scripture. And, mm-hmm. And the Ethiopic is whatever is culturally correct for them. They're going to keep in the canon. And, it, and even if you see, the, the, even if you read these two Bibles or compare the King James with the Ethiopic version of the Bible, you mm-hmm. that you realize that the book of Jubilees is in the Ethiopic Bible. All the Mac- Maccabees is in the Ethiopic Bible. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have uh, the Wisdom of Solomon that's in the Ethiopic Bible. Ethiopic Bible. Mm-hmm. You have all of the Enochs that are in the Ethiopic Bible, all the Idrises that are in the Ethiopic Bible. These are books that they have taken out. No. Uh-huh. Uh, in yeah. In the English and the English version of in the uh, English version of the Bible, because for the simple fact it wasn't linked culturally correct with them. So mm. you have two different churches. You have the Ethiopian churches, the Toledo church, and then you have the West Roman Catholic, in which the Roman Catholic controls everything in the West when it comes to church. Mm -hmm. When -hmm. it comes to church. So this is Mm -hmm. this is some good this is some good history to know, some good history to know even when you're reading the Bible. That way you won't be deceived by what some people may have interpreted to be correct because it's culturally fitting for them, but not because it's the truth. Wow. Yeah. I think that's really important, though, to know um, and to understand that, you know, the Roman Catholic Church is the church that is uh, con- in control. You know, that's the, you know, that's the, that's the, um, the main religion now or the biggest um, religion <laughs> now right. most people are either Catholic or Christian most people a lot mm-hmm. of people um, right. I want I think we should talk about that next week hopefully you'll be able to join us next week um, but one more scripture love- you would awesome <laughs> awesome <laughs> so uh, one more um, scripture. Um, oh man, I hope we have time. But a lot of people talk about the part in the Bible where, of course, Paul said and he was quoting Jeremiah thirty-one and thirty-one, where he said that we are no longer under the law, but we are under grace. I think that's what I think that's what the scripture was. Ah, but. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that the scripture also said that, you know, I think that he also quoted, you know, that the law is now written on our heart. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know that that was a reference scripture to Jeremiah 31 and 31, where it says, behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant um, with those, uh, with the house of Israel mm-hmm. and with the house of Judah, um, not like the covenant which I made with their fathers in the day. I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, my covenant, which they broke, although I was a husband to them, declares the Lord. Verse 33 says, but this is the covenant which I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, declares the Lord, I will put my law within them and on their heart. I will write it and I will be their God and they shall be my people. They will not teach. Again, each man his neighbor and each man his brother, saying, "Know the uh, know the Lord, for they will they will all know me, from the least of mm-hmm. them to the greatest of them." Declares the Lord. Mm-hmm. And he says that for I will forgive their iniquity and their sin, and I will remember no more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and this is what Adonis. This is what El says, who gives the the sun as light for day, who adorn the laws 
for the moon and the stars to provide light for the night, who stirs up the sea until its waves roar. Mm-hmm. That was the next scripture to 33. Mm-hmm. He still brought up the law. And then in 35, he said, if these laws leave my presence, and it says that mm-hmm. my offspring of Israel will stop being a nation, a nation in my presence forever. Mm-hmm. So he still comes back with the law, even yep. though there's going to be a new covenant made, but there's still going to be law. It's not going to be lawless. Mm-hmm. El right. does not work without stipulations and ordinances and commands. The whole world came into being when he said, let there be light. He said, be, and mm-hmm. it was. That was mm-hmm. a command, though. It was easy for him. It was a one It was one word, but it was still a command that ordained all existence. And in all mm-hmm. existence, they still have commands that they have to go by and laws that they have to go by to sustain their lives. Or, they, mm-hmm. or they'll stop being, and we'll all stop being at once. If one point... Mm-hmm. Was to get out of commission, was to get out, was to disobey the law that it was born in, and turn the opposite way, we would all be doomed. Oh wow! Oh wow! We would all be doomed. So that's how important law is. Law, I, 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 I don't, you know, I, I, and 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 how how um, manipulative ideology can be. Ideology mm-hmm. can be very manipulative. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, idea, a part of, I mean, of course, of course, a person is going to pick the easiest road, and no, and nobody says it's, it's going to be easy. Nobody says it's going to be easy. But the thing is, is that, you know, L mm-hmm. has made it easy enough mm-hmm. for you to follow law and. Seek repentance, mm-hmm. and he got, and he, mm-hmm. and, he, and, he, and he, and he, and he gives mercy on top of that for everyone. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Because even you know, Jesus even said that the greatest commandment was to love the Lord thy God with all your heart, your all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. And then the second is like it to love your neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor like you love yourself, basically. So. And he said that mm-hmm. you know. These two things hang the whole law and the prophets. So if you mm-hmm. do these things, then you know <laughs> why do people? Why I don't understand why people think that that is so so hard. So not, we can end. Huh? You said it's not mm-hmm. <laughs> right. It's really, it's really not. Not for the ones who whose heart really desires to be upright before before the Lord. I noticed too. You know that. Uh, if the listeners could probably, they're like, why is he saying Adoni in this net or whatever? It's probably because this, he speaks more than one. He speaks more than just English. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> sorry. Um, I'm sorry about no, that. I mean, you're you, yeah, no, 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 that's fine. That is just fine. I just wanted to say that, though, because I did forget to mention that in the intro. Anyway, um, you have been an absolute pleasure mr justin um my goodness it was a lot um to learn um a lot to take in this discussion was really really uh really really good um i'm just grateful that you were able to join us finally um <laughs> on Thank tonight you. and prayerfully absolutely prayerfully you will be with us again on next week i do want to go in depth about um the roman catholic church and about the christian church and the origins and all of that um because you know i know that you you you've studied a lot um mm-hmm. about that absolutely um and so i did want to just mention this last scripture um, before we close out, Ecclesiastes, and this is talking about the law, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13 says the conclusion of the whole matter. I just, that was an ad lib. Anyway, the conclusion, uh, we all uh, have heard is to fear God and keep his commandments because this applies to every person. And that was the NIV version. <laughs> that was the NIV version. I should have read the same thing. Anyway, thank.
thank all of the listeners. I'd like to thank you all uh, for tuning in to Let's Talk Talk Show right here on Elections Radio. Once again, I am your host, Chanel Lynn. Everybody take it easy. Till next time, we'll see you next week here right on, on Elections Radio next Tuesday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I pray everyone has a blessed and safe week and a wonderful weekend. Have a good night.